the air filled with the cry of wild birds, the whirring of many wings, the spectacle of a mass flight. These are the sounds which greet the visitor to the Cheyenne Bottoms. And this exciting scene is the result of thoughtful planning by far-sighted men. So in, in 1942, after the start of the Pittman-Robertson Act, uh, the state of Kansas, one of the first things that they did with that money was to start purchasing land that now makes up Cheyenne Bottoms. It's part of a 40 to 41,000 acre natural wetland complex here in central Kansas. Cheyenne Bottoms is the biggest inland marsh in the United States. It's some, it really is something. The basin is about a 40,000 acre basin, and the wetland itself is about, uh, oh, about 25,000 acres. Cheyenne Bottoms is important for a variety of reasons. Uh, of course, if you're a waterfowl hunter, it's a major stop oversight. It's a great place to recreate. But also, if you care about shorebirds, if you care about whooping cranes, there's a lot of uh, habitat aspects at Cheyenne Bottoms that are very unique. So we'll get close to 40% of shorebirds, close to half a million plus waterfowl. Last year we had, at one time, 32 whooping cranes on the area, which is 10% of the world's population. We'll have upwards of 100,000 visitors every year. By the end of the year, every state in the United States will be represented, have, has hunted out here, you know. It's just yeah. amazing the people that, that come and care about this place. Cheyenne Bottoms, when I was growing up, was probably uh, less than 20 years old. And uh, so there was some uh, pioneering that occurred during that time. Uh, the dikes, uh, the water control system, all of those were pioneering systems that were put into place by the state uh, for wildlife purposes. As you look across, you'll see that we got a, there's a lot of cattails out here. The hunters come out here, they see cattails as the problem. Cattails are more of a result of the problem. Uh, Wetlands uh, of this size in this part of the United States, uh, there is a considerable amount of siltation. And so a lot of the siltation blocks the waterways, it blocks the canals. About half of our pumps are, are working right now, the other half are non-functional. Can't get the water off because our ditches are full of silt. Our pumps aren't working effectively. So if we cannot get the water pulled off in a timely manner, especially in early spring, what happens is this water stays, the cattails come up. It's time that we start looking at addressing some of these issues before, they're, before it's too late. It's time for uh, Ducks Unlimited and Wildlife and Parks to do uh, a major renovation. So we are targeting three major aspects uh, for restoration of Cheyenne Bottoms. That's including silt removal, uh, some pumping infrastructure to help the area managers move water more quickly and more effectively, and also to replace a lot of the aging infrastructure. Here, almost in the center of Kansas, Within a huge area of over 29 square miles will be heard the wild cry of the migratory waterfowl in a setting of breathtaking beauty. A lot of times people don't realize when they have something in their backyard. This is a jewel among all the places that I've been. It's just, it's just special. What we're looking at some of this funding is increasing our pump capacity, installing new pump stations, and then, uh, like I said, repairing some of our pumps that currently aren't working. And with those, we should be able to make it the magical spot it should be.